And I started Notes for Peace. It aims to bring Jewish and Arab youth together through music and arts education initiatives in order to promote tolerance, understanding, and mutual respect. We've got programs launching both in Israel, the Palestinian territories, and the United States. Our program in the United States is called Notes for Peace on Campus, and that is essentially a network of campus organizations. Uh, the first one is here at NYU. And uh, what we do, what these organizations do, is they run interfaith and intercultural events and meetings with an emphasis on art and community service. So we'll do stuff like cultural events in New York City that focus like going to an Israeli restaurant followed by an Egyptian restaurant or uh, film screenings and Q&As with directors to sort of orient kids who might not have any experience in terms of Israel and the Palestinian territories and that whole Middle Eastern region besides what they see in the news to what's actually happening on the ground and to give them a sense of the culture, which is a very deep and vast culture, and sort of show them that what you're really seeing on the news is just a minuscule percentage of what this region is actually like and what the people are like there. And the idea is that by bringing more people into the conversation, we can create a, a bigger dialogue and sort of increase the chances for success in uh, bringing uh, peaceful coexistence and stability to the region. At the Notes for Peace camp, we're going to bring about 100 Israeli and Palestinian youth together, along with 25 artists from around the world, to sort of work on collaborative arts projects, teach subjects such as music, film, photography, in the interest of building coexistence and peace. We also have the Youth Education Achievement Through the Arts program, an initiative to increase the music and arts programs in uh, low-income Israeli and Palestinian public schools. So you have, uh, for example, the Ethiopian sector, you have the Arabs who live in Israel sector and Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza. And what we want to do is we want to take arts equipment, used arts equipment and also new, and musical instruments and kind of bring them to these schools so that they can start uh, competitive arts programs. So the idea that by increasing instruments and the level of programs, you can help kids increase their cognitive abilities and scores and help them go to college. And uh, with higher education means more economic opportunities, which can lead to better stability in the region which we are a strong believer in. And we've kind of seen that through some research that music education can play a big role in helping kids both stay in school because it helps build community and decreasing the dropout rate and therefore the level of crime and kind of uh, give kids a way to uh, get ahead in life.